Hello, Dave here with RadiationHealthRisk.com. I appreciate you stopping by. One thing that I want to mention at the beginning of this video is just how much I enjoy all of your questions and comments that people post on this YouTube channel. I hope I do a good job answering them. I sure have fun with them. Uh, so appreciate that. Um, if you'll notice my last few videos, I have addressed topics that, of questions that I get asked a lot by people on this YouTube channel. And that's going to be true for this video as well. Um, in this video, I wanted to address the questions of, is there a meter out there that I can buy um, that measures 5G radiation? And then also, if so, which what is it and which one, what, which one do you recommend? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. To answer that, uh, I need to uh, do a real quick explanation of what 5G radiation already or actually is. So let's put a chart up. Here's a chart by uh, a chart of electromagnetic radiation. If you notice on the far left, there's radio waves and it goes into microwaves and then it goes into uh, infrared and visible light and ultraviolet light and then into uh, x-rays and gamma rays. Um, so the what is considered RF radiation, radio frequency radiation, that includes both the radio wave section of this of this chart as well as the microwave section of this chart. So from the bottom of the chart up, all the way up to about 300 gigahertz. Microwave go, range goes from about 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. Uh, 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G cellular services, those go uh, in from about 1 gigahertz up to about 5 or 6 gigahertz. Um, 5G, it's always been said that it's going to take up, the, the devices are going to go from about 25 gigahertz up to possibly as high as the 300 gigahertz or the top of the microwave spectrum. Um, that's still kind of, from what I understand, up in the air. It depends on, you know, what devices work at, at, uh, for, you know, at which speeds and, and, and so forth. Um, they came out with for a while a year or two ago with a 5g wi-fi router that was at 60 gigahertz and that immediately kind of died and got replaced with a, a six gigahertz uh, wi-fi router which technically isn't in the 5g range um, but the the reason they had to to make that switch is uh, the 60 gigahertz frequency it has an oxygen absorption problem. Um, you can read more about that on uh, the scientific studies page of radiationhealthrisks.com. I'll put a link uh, to that uh, below this video, that, uh, that scientific studies page of this website. And also, they have a real problem with how far a 60 gigahertz frequency travels and it gets obstructed really easy, particularly by rain. And so um, the short answer to the question, is there a meter that will measure the 5G, meaning from 25 gigahertz all the way up to 300 gigahertz? Um, not for home use, not that I've been able to find. Um, there is one that will measure, I'll put it right up here on the screen. There is one that will measure up to 10 gigahertz, which I think is about the highest that I've, I've seen. Um, so it'll cover the one, two, three and four G, but really doesn't get into the five G range. It'll cover the new six gigahertz, uh, frequency Wi-Fi routers though. Um, but now let's talk about, do you need a meter that measures those higher frequencies? In my and I'm giving you this my personal opinion is no and the reason I say no <clears throat> is because because of the problems of those higher frequencies how they don't travel very far and they get obstructed real easy um, they typically um, have to admit emit the lower frequencies like the 5 uh, gigahertz frequency and the 2.4 gigahertz frequencies um, of, of 
4G Wi-Fi routers um, because they travel farther and go through walls and obstructions easier. And so um, if you can pick up those lower frequencies, um, you know, if, in, in other words, any, if, if the higher frequencies have more trouble going through walls and obstructions, um, as long as you protect yourself, you got a meter that will read the lower frequencies, you should feel good about it. In other words, if you put protections in that will that'll protect you from the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, for example, which all of the RF meters will read pretty much, um, you know that a, a 60 gigahertz frequency isn't going to reach you if from, from that device if the... Uh, lower frequencies won't. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying. So um, the only time that you would really need a truly 5G meter um, would be if there was like, say there was a 60 gigahertz Wi-Fi device that only admitted that frequency. Then in that case, you'd need something that would read that frequency. But all of them that I know of so far have have put out the four, the lower 4G frequencies as well so you can pick them up and you can um, any of the normal RF meters will help you identify a problem and protect it protect yourself from it uh, just fine so hopefully that makes sense um, in the future this uh, meter that I have here uh, that I was talking about that measures 10 gigahertz I've ordered one of those. I'm going to be doing a review on that pretty soon. Uh, not sure if I'm going to like it or dislike it, but you'll get my honest opinion of it. And so look, if you're interested in that, uh, look forward to that in a future video. Well, thank you very much. I hope this was interesting. Appreciate you watching the video all the way to the end. Again, thanks so much, and we'll talk to you in the next video.